Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine and healthy. Welcome to the online classes of mathematics of class 3, Mindful Pallavi Pandi. Today we will study chapter number 2, that is numbers up to 10,000. Till now we have learned how to read and write the number name up to 100. But now in this chapter we will learn how to read and write the number name up to 10,000. But before we start, let's do some revision. The smallest two digit number is 10. The largest two digit number is 99. The smallest three digit number is 100. And the largest three digit number is 999. Now we shall learn about four digit number. Now let's add 1 to 999. We will get 1000. So the smallest four digit number is 1000. In the place value chart, the fourth place from the right is called a thousand place. Now let us study how to read and write the number and the number name. Here we have a bit. We can see that there are 7 beats at 1 place, 2 beats at 10 place, 5 beats at 100 place and 4 beats at 1000 place. So we will start reading from the left that is 4527. Now let's see some more example on it. This time we have two abacus. We will read first abacus as 1327 and we will read second abacus as 3105. Now we will study how to write in numerals. Let's take an example. Here we have 6237 in words. Let us understand this with the help of a place for a chart. The place of 6 is 1000, the place of 2 is 100, the place of 3 is 10 and the place of 7 is 1. Thus, we will write 6237 in numerals as 6, 2, 3, 7. Now let us study place value. That before studying place value, let us understand the meaning of place. Place is the position of a digit in a number. Let's take an example. Here we have two digits, that is 4 and 2. The place of 2 is 1. Place of 4 is 10. Now let us understand the meaning of place value. Place value is how much the digit is worth or the value it holds to be at the place in this number. Let's take some examples. Here we have two digits 8 and 5. Place of 5 is 1, thus its place value is 5. The place of 8 is 10, thus its place value is 8, 10 or 80. Let's take some more examples. This time we have 3 digits 2, 7, and 9. The place of 9 is 1, thus its place value is 9. The place of 7 is 10, thus its place value is 70. The place of 2 is 100, thus its place value is 200. This time we have 4 digits, that is 
value is 0 is always 0. Thus, the place value of 0 is 0. The place of 4 is 1000. Thus, the place value is 4000. Now, we will study expanding form. When any number is expressed as the sum of the place value of its digit, it is said to be expanded form. Let's take one example. Here we have a number that is 9463. The place value of 3 is 3. The place value of 6 is 6 tenths or 60. The place value of 4 is 400. And the place value of 9 is 9000. Thus, the expanded form of 9463 is 9000 plus 400 plus 6 tenths plus 3 one. That is 9000 plus 400 plus 60 plus 3. Sakdita. The number that comes just after a particular number is called successor. We get successor by adding 1 to that particular number. Let us understand with the help of some examples. Question 1. What is the successor of 50? The answer is 60. But how we get? When we add it 1 to 15, we get 60. So the successor of 15 is 60. Question 2. What is the successor of 231? When we add 1 to 231, we get 232. So, the successor of 231 is 232. Predecessor. The number that comes just before a particular number is called the predecessor. We get predecessor by subtracting 1 from that particular number. Predecessor is just the opposite of successor. It means in successor we add plus 1 and in predecessor we subtract 1. Let's take some examples. Question 1. What is the predecessor of 84? When we subtract 1 from 84, we get 83. So, the predecessor of 84 is 83. Question 2. What is the predecessor of 196? This time, when we subtracted 1 from 196, we get 195. So, the predecessor of 196 is 195. Question 3. What is the predecessor of 1842? This time, we subtracted 1 from 1842. We get 1841. So, the predecessor of 1842 is 1845. Now we will study ordering of number. It means arrangement of number from greater to smaller and smaller to greater. First, ascending order. When a set of given numbers arrange from the smallest to the greatest, they are said to be ascending order. Second, descending order. When a set of given numbers arrange from the greatest to the smallest, they are said to be in descending order. I hope you have understood all the topics explained in this video. So, on the basis of that, try to solve these following questions. Question number 1. Write the number name. Question 2. Write the numerals. Question 3. Write the place value of underlying digit. Question 4. Write the successor. Question 5. Write the predecessor. Question 6. Write in expanded form. Question 7. Write the number in ascending and descending order. Thank you all.